Our ultimate objective in this region is to build a replacement for a way station that was lost to the TAR. The first step is to put a shelter with our scientists on the Cairo network. Now, we don't know the first thing about Emily's status or what Higgs is up to. Now, that's a concern for us as much as you. But we won't know more until we get to Edgenot City. And that means connecting this region first. You should start with the geologist and the paleontologist. The latter's holding something for the Evo Devil biologist, so I recommend you save her for last. That way, you can finish a delivery and link up the final site in one go. Once all three are on the grid, come back here. Then we can get to work on the replacement for that lost way station. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Dumb Game Channel. My name is AJ Gels. How y'all doing? We are back with Death Stranding. We've got some uh, new orders for Sam. We're going to be heading out to this geologist and the uh, paleontologist. So let's take these two orders. That'll add 100 kilograms to our total weights. A geologist of ours has been studying fossils as part of his research into prehistoric extinction events. He's been out there conducting excavations for a while now and has begun to suffer the effects of chiral contamination. No doubt the result of excessive exposure to chirelium during the dig. Until the site is properly decontaminated, his work can't proceed. Nor will his health improve. So we need you to bring him some chirelium scrubbing agents. The stratum the team was investigating dates from the end of the Cretaceous period, the time of the infamous mass extinction, which brought the reign of the dinosaurs to a close, leaving small mammals to inherit the Earth. It's the most recent of the Big Five, and one of the largest mass extinctions the world has ever seen. In any event, our team found something truly remarkable. Can you guess what it was? A fossil beach. If that is indeed what it is, then he has made a tremendous discovery. Therefore, Sam, it is essential that you deliver those Chirelium scrubbing agents as soon as possible. One more thing, Sam. For this Always run, one more thing. Transporting an antimatter bomb. A Bridges paleontologist working on a dig says he needs it. Apparently, the fossils he wants to study are buried deep beneath tar. And the only way he can get to them is by blowing it wide open. Now, hopefully I don't need to tell you to be extra careful when handling high-yield explosives. But in case I do, make sure you keep that container in one piece, no matter what. Yeah, you know, here's an idea. Just stop giving me bombs to carry. That just seems dangerous. Sam, I'm sure you haven't forgotten. But you need to be extremely careful with that antimatter bomb, especially when transporting it by a carrier or vehicle. Any irregularities should trigger an alarm. Don't ignore it. How could I forget you just told me about it? go eight nine and then the bomb on the back boom perfect okay what all do I have on my person I've got a couple PCCs and a ladder should be good I'm gonna have to change my boots soon Any normal deliveries? You also want me to run? Roboticist? Doctor? Okay, none of those are useful to me. Sam, so Hartman told you all about the lake. How the attack that created it changed his life forever? Not only did he lose his family, he very nearly lost himself. For 21 minutes, he was in a state of cardiopulmonary arrest. Under normal circumstances, he would have died. 
therapeutic hypothermia saved his life. But the 21 minutes he spent on the other side had a lasting effect on him. Perhaps due to the shock, his Doom's abilities seem to have increased. And now he takes every opportunity to walk the beach in search of his family. My apologies, Sam. You came all this way to visit me, but I neglected to give you a proper farewell. Do be careful out there. As I mentioned before, this region is rich in memories of death and extinction. It should come as no surprise that VTs are sighted here more frequently. Perhaps you recall the models in my lab. Their designs were all based on eyewitness accounts. Though I suppose they must have struck you as strange, considering the many times you've come face to face with the real McCorn. <laughs> Alright, Hartman, stop being kind of weird. Avoid picking up lost cargo. Don't need it right now. I could go around I could go around the mountain yeah, I could go around hit the paleontologist first but it's not my style Really need to get some place to rest. Getting close to a uh, to the end of the chiral network, and of course, and there's also BTs around here. Isn't that fantastic. Two hundred meters. It's close enough, it'll work. Get an EX grenade ready. I, I really like this update that has made my cargo kind of transparent so I can see the odor deck. Oh, great. My rifle got fucked up. Yeah, Sam, scream at the BTs. That's a great plan.
just gonna keep scanning, kind of looking for a uh, entering any memory chips or whatever you want to call them. There we go. <gasps> Gotta be careful with that. All right, let's get a Take a swig. Oh, there we go. I got his, uh, was I thinking I've got his spot in my odor deck? Great, this isn't dangerous. Not at all. Cargo containers are fucked. During the day, I guess it doesn't really matter. We're getting close to him, anyways. saving here. It's my life's work. 
I started to wonder if I'd ever see these meds. I guess you really are good at what you do, huh? Thank you. I forgot now that it's uh seeing that it's around Christmas time, all the uh NPCs are wearing Santa hats. <laughs> forgot about that. Apparently, um, Jeff Keeley's isn't wearing a Santa hat, though, because he's apparently too cool for it. At least that's what I saw on Twitter. Oh, yes. Right then. <laughs> if you'd do the honors. Oh, cool, new climbing anchor. And just like that, I'm part of the UCA. With access to a treasure trove of historical research materials, studying this fossil beach should be a good deal easier now. Assuming I can prove once for all that that's what it is. Honestly, though, I'm just excited I can finally share these findings with everyone. Can you believe I found chiral deposits in strata dating back 65 and a half million years? Evidence of an ancient death stranding. Chiral matter has existed on Earth since long before the dawn of man. This stratum is proof of that. Look at this, Sam. Do you see that black fissure there? We believe this is the source of the Chirelian readings. In the distant past, Earthquakes cause frictional melting along fault lines, producing layers of what is known as pseudotachylite. We call these layers fossil earthquakes. Extending the principle, our fissure here is what one might term a fossil beach. The presence of corellium in this of all strata cannot be a mere coincidence. It strongly suggests that beaches must have appeared during the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. And not just then. The chiral network has recovered data suggesting that similar fossil beaches were discovered in strata corresponding to other extinction events too. That would seem to indicate the Big Five and all other major extinctions were accompanied by the appearance of beaches. In expanding the chiral network, you've helped us glimpse a pattern in these scattered points of data. You've furthered our individual research projects and ensure that it is only a matter of time before we recover all we have lost and solve every mystery that remains. But this is only the beginning. See this through, Sam, and there's no telling what we might learn. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal. All right, so we've got new orders. Roboticist, Mountain Knot, and Hartman. Actually, I'm going to say yes to the one at Hartman, because no matter what, we have to double back to his uh, his lab anyways. I could actually use a climbing anchor. I kind of forgot I didn't have one. Alright. First off, we'll load everything on the back. Do that. Adjust everything. Alright guys, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually rest inside of uh, this little little out, uh, safe post. Out, I almost called it an outhouse. Uh, in the safe house, uh, just so I can um, boost my stamina back up a little bit uh, before we head back outside. Um, so I will be back after a quick cut. Okay, well, my, uh, my resting apparently didn't get me any of my stamina back, which I thought it would. Guess I was incorrect on that assumption. Hartman's lab, that's fine. Where is... There it is. All right. 
Alright, so it's mostly going to be a downhill trek. Check out the, uh, there we go. All right, so this is the current chiral network. There's still going to be someone in here, and this one is the first prepper, which I've already found. I just need to actually get him connected. Cool, so it looks like I've almost found all the, uh, all the individual knots. Be careful, Sam. I'm kind of moving down and across the different intervals. So I've, I've tried uh, traversing these mountains kind of like just straight across at times. It's, um, in my opinion, it comes across, it, it becomes kind of a pain in the ass. I think it's much easier to move down and across instead of trying to move diagonally. If that makes sense. Right, my ladder's almost completely destroyed. Another 400 meters. I said I'm gonna need to uh, I'm gonna have to find some place to actually rest and probably head back to mountain knot it's probably my best bet I know I've said this before, but I've got to start listening to more music by Low Roar. Really good. Like it's it's really great. Um, just kind of chill music. You know what I mean? It's that sort of. Um, I'm trying to think the best way to put it. It's it's just it's something I've I've kind of thought about with this game with this game soundtrack. It's I, I've talked with uh, talked with a few people about it. How this game's soundtrack it's really just perfect to it's perfect background music. It, it, it mood music. There we go. Jeez, I don't know why that was so hard to come up with. Scan. Scanning bridges ID. Fragile 
Delivering cargo. Much appreciated, friend. Thanks to you, we can finally move ahead with the dig. I swear, this place is bad enough without having to worry about getting asphyxiated. <laughs> Not that I need to tell you. You did it after all, though I can't for the life of me imagine how. You know, while I do, I think I've said this before, while I do like how this game uses silence, how, you know, when you're out running around in the environment, it's just so dead quiet, I like that, that's neat, and how the, how the game picks the points to use its soundtrack, the, how it, uh, how the, how the music pops up at very particular times. Uh, to really kind of again set the set the mood for a specific uh, event, I like that. An oxygen mask, level two hematics, awesome. Anyway, as it turns out, Sam Bridges, I have a favor to ask. A local porter was on his way here with something very valuable, but dropped it on route. It's a 200 million year old ammonite, which looks, he says, almost as if it were still alive. He apparently stumbled across it in a boulder field, which had previously been hidden beneath a glacier, but that's not the half of it. The man claims this ammonite has an umbilical cord. <sighs> an umbilical cord. Color me skeptical, but the specimen merits study, and I wasn't about to leave such delicate work to an amateur. So I asked him to carve out the whole surrounding chunk of rock and bring it here to me. Naturally, I wanted to compare it with contemporary specimens in the vicinity, which is why I had him excavate a number of those in addition to the one he told me about. But what does a dumb fuck go and do? He loses the whole shipment. Didn't even have the good sense to mark which container had the ammonite with the umbilical cord. The cargo was supposedly lost in the area to the southwest, where toxic gases have a tendency to build up. Old Mr. Reliable claims his cargo scanner is broken, and there's no way he can recover the shipment. But you... you could track it down. To protect you against the fumes, I'll provide you with an oxygen mask. Just to be safe. You can pick it up when you accept the order. That fossil could represent an epical discovery. While there are examples of bibiparous fish, an ammonite with an umbilical cord is unheard of. And if it is indeed 200 million years old, it would also correspond with the end Triassic extinction, another one of the big five. Could the umbilical cord be connected to the beach? We must recover that cargo at all costs. It could provide a vital clue to the mechanisms underpinning the Death Stranding. We're so close, so very, very close to grasping the true nature of the phenomenon. Hurry, Sam, we cannot risk that ammonite being lost. Good work. New All right, looks like we have our new job. And recover the ammonites. An oxygen mask, huh? Good idea. It'll filtrate the air and keep you breathing normally. In addition to protecting you from toxic gases, it'll also help to reduce fatigue from strenuous activity, making it easier to keep your balance. If it didn't have a limited battery life, I'd tell you to keep it on the whole time. But it does, so don't. <laughs> Thank you. All right, level two hematic grenades, which I'm assuming is just the same as a normal hematic grenade. Yeah, okay. So I'm getting it's just a better version. Uh, and we're already we're going to be provided one of these oxygen masks for free. There we go. Order assigned. We 
god, I look like a spaceman. And let's request a cargo. All right. Porter. That is a guy I have not seen before. Yeah, I don't see a way down into that fissure. I'm gonna need a uh, need a climbing anchor or a ladder, depending. Climbing anchor. I don't have a. I don't have a ladder that. Uh, it still only gives me 30 meters. You'd think it'd give me maybe 40, something a little extra. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a full 30 meters down. I think I should. Still be able to use this climbing anchor. move. You ever see characters do things in video games or movies that you think, man, if I had to do that in real life, I'd I'd just be dead. You know, like I can't climb a rope like that. You know, just like free climb. Yeah, no. Well, it's like you see people like hanging off of rooftops with their fingers. Yeah, you, know, you just you just see things, those fantastical things in games and everything. It's just, yeah. I if if I was in that situation, yep. Yeah, I nope. I'm dead. And yes, I kind of understand. That's kind of the point of games and movies and everything to be fantastical, but still. What? There we go. Gotta look cool while I'm making my deliveries. My Ray-Ban sunglasses and my, my baseball cap. There we go. Almost there. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. Huh, I missed that uh, ladder and cargo anchor. Or climbing anchor and ladder. Words are hard. Ah, uh, you found it! Uh, 
Uh, let, let me see. I, I have to see it. Oh my. <laughs> it really is immaculately preserved. Uncannily even. Volcano Orange. It's a really intense sounding color. Thanks for bringing in that lost shipment, Sam. And yet, I've already sent some images and a preliminary analysis to Hartman via the network. Interestingly, it seems the surrounding strata contain traces of tar, which lines up with one of his theories. Anyway, I, I know you only just brought this ammonite here, but... I'd like you to deliver it to a colleague of mine, an Evo Devo biologist. Lately, she's taken an interest in the tar, and I think she'd be eager to examine this particular specimen. It's quite remarkable, and that's to your credit. To clarify, she has been studying how the tar may have influenced the development of various organisms. Accordingly, I would ask that you also recover the tar collectors deployed near her shelter and deliver them along with the ammonite. It would be too dangerous for her to attempt to retrieve them herself, which is why we must impose upon you. By aiding her research, we may yet inch closer to unraveling the secrets of the Death Stranding. We've already made so much progress with the data recovered by the network. With your continued help, I know we can accomplish even more. Good work. New order of it. All right, we've got new orders. First things first. Because I can easily pick up a new ladder. I might as well just recycle this already. This pretty much dead ladder. Delivering cargo. That done. All right, so that'll take another 37 kilograms. Currently, what I'm already carrying, I'm good with. Eh, I could. Do I want to start bringing some more PCCs now that I think about it? I'll start building my uh, my zip line system off camera. I won't put you guys through watching me uh, try and set that up. Thank you for your contribution. Uh, the geologist. That's a uh, eh. And once time sensitive, I'd deliver it if it wasn't for the, uh, the fact that it was time sensitive. If there's going to be terrorists down in that area, I should probably bring a gun. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, fabricate equipment. And my non lethal assault rifle. Just in case. Just the fact that, you know, he said that there's a, uh, there's an area. What was I saying? That there's an area. With, uh, stuff that terrorists have taken, it's probably a smart idea to plan to have to fight some of them. Ha <laughs> ha. So at least now I know where that uh, 
that last location is. I'm not gonna uh, go out of my way and make that delivery just yet. I'm gonna stick to the uh, st stick to the actual objective. I can't speak. Oh my god, it's so nice being on, like, an actual mountain and not on all that snow. Oh crap, more snow. Right as I say that. BTs out in that area too. That does not bode well. Wait, did it say BT area? Crap. There we go. That uh, kind of looked like a down train. Can anyone else kind of see it? I mean, I, I get it. It's like the building, like a foundation of a building, but it kind of looks like a train head come off the off the tracks from a distance. What the? F Can I find Santa in this game? Is that a possibility? Oh, there are terrorists over there as well as BTs. Fantastic. Absolutely my two favorite groups of people.
Alright, one down. Oh, there's a few of them around me. Die. Jesus. Apparently the uh, BT that I was shooting at was some big bastard. Jesus. Holy hell. Come on, BB. Calm down.
Gonna keep him relaxed. Otherwise, we're gonna be in. We're gonna be in trouble, especially out here in BT territory. this uh miss this device while I was over here Oh, there was only four of those extraction kits? Oh, man, I totally misunderstood that. Out of here. Got myself a bunch of chiral crystals at least, so I guess it wasn't a total loss. Yeah, I'm I'm happy that I'm you know not having a heart attack anymore. Jesus. Oh, my chest does hurt a little bit after that.
I'm impressed, Sam. Not many people you should be. even attempted this. May I have a look? I think I cut not about two years off my life. Time Jesus. Time safe and secure. You do not disappoint, my friend. Now, connect me to the chiral network. That's where my studies will truly begin. launcher thank you it goes without saying but I am convinced that the tar is related to the BTs and the death stranding after all both it and timefall are the defining features of the post stranding ecosystem sudden environmental changes such as these invariably lead to the extinction of organisms that fail to adapt those that do adapt do so by virtue of enhancers, the regions of DNA that grant successful organisms their advantages. These genetic factors are the key to evolution. But there are genes which have the opposite effect, those which disadvantage organisms. Extinction factors, as they have been called. These are the seeds of advancement and obsolescence. Such factors may lie dormant within us all, a choice waiting to be made for every being since the advent of life itself. If so, then ancient proof may hide deep within the tar, evidence of these genetic decisions that may aid us in navigating our current crossroads. In any event, thanks to you, I can now study the composition of the tar in greater detail. I'll make sure to share any interesting results with you later. Well done, Sam. You furthered our research into the Death Stranding in ways you cannot imagine. Thank you again for bringing me Mama's body, as well as that Ammonite. Speaking of which, my analysis of its umbilical cord is proceeding apace. I've been comparing the data against some of our restored archives. Anyway, would you mind returning to my lab? Preparations are finally complete for the chiral relay integration. If you could collect the necessary materials for the restoration work and bring them here, I would be most grateful. Good work. New order available. Alright, so he wants us to head to uh, his lab. Really, there's something... I have something stored in the locker the paleontologists? Interesting. Um, live fish, that's uh... So I'm just trying to see what all I can do. Uh, yeah, why not? We'll, uh, we'll hit up... What does this do exactly? Revolver style, grenade launchers, fire grenades, those of, uh, can be loaded with four types of ammo, anti-BT hematic, lethal grenade rounds, slip rounds, and non-lethal tranquilizer rounds, enabling it to use... That's actually kind of cool. Um, yeah, I don't need it right now, but still cool. All right. Well, lost some train of thought. Uh, I'm gonna head back to Hartman's lab, but I am gonna close out here. You know, I'll pop in if there's, you know, if we get sucked into like another uh, time vortex or whatever. But uh, barring that, uh, I think we're gonna end uh, end here. I'll add any sort of um, cutscene or information, whatever you want to say, is gonna pop up uh, when we get to Hartman's lab. But uh, that'll be when we get over there. Either way, uh, thanks for watching. As always, Facebook, Twitter, the website, minds.com. Links to that stuff can be found down in the description below. Please remember to like, comment. If you're not already, please subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more next time. But until then, my name's AJ Gell. This is Something Game Channel. I'm out.